Hi, it's nice to see you, not see you today. Today is Cinco de Mayo, a day we celebrate people from Mexico and people here in the United States who, who love Mexico. We usually have parties and fiestas. Today I chose a story called The Tale of Rabbit and Coyote. The story is another trickster tale. Remember the story of Coyote? How he was kind of always getting in trouble? In this story, Rabbit is the trickster. And this story comes from Oaxaca, Mexico, and it has a little bit of Spanish in it. And it's done by a team of, of illustrator and author called Tony Johnston and Tommy De Paola. Tommy De Paola is the one is the author who did the illustrations and the words for Streganona. You might know that story. The Tale of Rabbit and Coyote. Here they are. One full moon night, Rabbit found a field of chilies. He was so pleased to see them all glossy and green that he jumped right in and ate the biggest ones. When the sun rose, the farmer came to check the chilies. They were scattered everywhere, and the biggest, glossiest, greenest ones were gone. Miss Chilies, he cried. Among the plants, he saw rabbit tracks. So what did he do? He made himself a beeswax doll, and he set that doll in the middle of the field to catch the chili thief. Conejo Mavado, evil rabbit. When night fell, rabbit returned. He saw the farmer made of wax and he crept up to say hello and to ask for some chiles too. But the wax farmer had nothing to say to rabbit, nothing at all. Rabbit was angry. He punched the farmer hard. His right paw stuck in the wax. Still, the farmer said nothing. So he punched him again. His left paw stuck too. Rabbit was fuming mad. But the wax farmer was silent as the stars. So he hauled off with both feet and walloped him. Ay, ay, ay! Then Rabbit was trapped for sure. Que persona tan pegajosa! When the real farmer came to check his trap, he was delighted to see Rabbit there. Que delicioso! How delicious! He said, rubbing his hands together. He popped Rabbit into a sack and took him home. When he got there, he hung up the sack, built a fine fire, and set a pot of, wa of water to boil. And then he went looking for herbs. From where he was hanging in the sack, Rabbit saw Coyote coming. Farmer says when he caught him, he says, Hola, Santa. Hi, dinner. Do you see Coyote coming? What are you doing there? asked Coyote. This man wants me to marry his daughter, Rabbit said. But I'm too young. Why don't you take my place? Look, the water's ready to make hot chocolate. There will be a grand party. When the farmer came back and took down the sack, he saw Coyote inside of this. You'll pay for this, he said. He popped Coyote into the hot water. Ay, ay, ay! Coyote flew right out of that water and he took off after Rabbit. He followed his tracks until he found him high up in a hiccata tree. I'm going to eat you now, said Coyote. 
for he was very furious. So what did Rabbit do? What do you think Rabbit's going to do? Well, he knew that Coyote couldn't tell the difference between the fruit of the jicara, which is hard as a rock, and the soft, sweet zapote. Why eat me? asked Rabbit, when right here I have sweet zapote fruit instead. Is that the fruit of the tree he was in? I don't think so. Well, toss me one, growled Coyote. And Rabbit did that. He tossed down the hikara with all his might. Plunk! It struck Coyote and knocked him out cold as a cabbage. When Coyote woke up, he tracked Rabbit until he saw that furry scoundrel resting against a large rock at the edge of a hill. Te voy a comer, manito. I'm going to get you, man. I'm going to eat you. Oh, please don't eat me, pleaded Rabbit, leaning against the rock. Can't you see that if I don't hold up this rock, it will roll down and crush the world. Here, you hold it while I find some people to help us. Coyote believed Rabbit and took his place. Rabbit hopped off, hopped off free as a bee. Hasta luego. See you later. Soon, Coyote knew he'd made a mistake. He went after Rabbit, muttering all the while. When at last he found him, Coyote said, now I will eat you. But then, who will take care of the little children in this little school? Asked Rabbit, pointing to a wasp nest on a low tree branch. Someone needs to give it a knock if the pupils try and leave. Hmm. A wasp nest? Well, Coyote loved to give knocks, so he took the job. He lay near the branch and waited. When a wasp flew out, he whacked that wasp nest with a little stick, and all the wasps came after him. They chased him into a pond. Only his nose stuck out of the water, so they stung that many times. It was pitch black night when Coyote found Rabbit at the edge of a lake. Now he was really going to eat him. But Rabbit said, Why eat me, Coyote, when I have been waiting for you so we can share the cheese that you see there? Rabbit pointed to the moon's reflection upon the water. Of course, explained Rabbit, we must first drink all the juice of the cheese in order to eat the cheese itself. So, Coyote began drinking the water to reach the cheese itself. After a time, he said, I simply can't drink anymore. Just a few more sips, said Rabbit, and you'll reach the cheese for sure. Mas, mas. Mas, more, 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 said Rabbit. Coyote drank more, more, more. He drank so much that water poured out from his ears. But when he turned to discuss this with Rabbit, Rabbit ran away. Coyote ran after him as best he could, but he was swollen as a sponge. Mm. 
Now, Rabbit knew of a ladder that reached up into the sky, and he began to climb it up, 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 and he hopped all the way up to the moon. Then he hid the ladder. Far below, he saw Coyote looking up at the sky for him. But try as he might, Coyote never found the ladder. That is why, to this very day, Coyote sits gazing at the moon. And now and then, he howls at it, for he is still very furious with Rabbit. Conejo Mavaro! Can you see Rabbit? In Mexico, they say it's the rabbit in the moon, not the man in the moon. The end. The tale of rabbit and coyote. What a fun story, huh? Coyote kept getting tricked and tricked and tricked. Not too smart. I wonder if the next story we read about coyote, he's the one who gets tricked or he's the one who tricks. Hmm, I'll have to look and see if I have one of those. Have a great day. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Adiós.